Krista Lynn, shamanic practitioner as well as teacher of shamanic classes. And welcome to my video talking about the use of rattles in shamanic healing and ceremonial work. So, in traditional shamanic cultures, the shamans would work with the rhythm of percussive instruments, rattles, drums, click sticks, that can also include mouth harps, in order to go into a deeper state of consciousness, an altered state of consciousness, also known as a shamanic state of consciousness, to journey into the spiritual realms, to connect to their beautiful, loving, compassionate, helping spirits to perform healing sessions on behalf of others, to also do ceremony work. So in this video, I wanted to talk a little bit about the use of rattles specifically, and I love working with rattles in my shamanic work. And uh, I collect rattles uh, when I travel to different countries and cities. I do collect different rattles. Uh, I've had some rattles gifted to me by my shamanic colleagues and even my shamanic students, and I have made some myself. So why shamans use the rattles too is to do the healing work, to go into the altered state of consciousness, to connect to their helping spirits when they do shamanic journeying work. But the rattles also have a beautiful quality for cleansing. So when the shamans would work with a rattle for themselves, they could rattle around themselves to release energy congestion in their aura, in their chakras, in their body, to cleanse and purify themselves energetically before doing shamanic healing work. Okay, before they receive a client for a healing session. Also for the client, when the shaman is performing healing work for the client, they might be rattling around the client to break up energy congestion, uh, emotional congestion that's getting stuck in their aura, in their chakras, or other areas that need to be removed. It's like loosening up that congestion to release it. So it was used for cleansing in that way. We also work with rattles to seal in healing. So when the client is receiving shamanic healing and they're receiving that healing coming back to them, so beautiful healing energies or their soul essence being returned to them, the shaman would rattle around different areas of the body to seal in healing energies, to seal in healing power, to seal in soul essence. And it was very common to work with rattles in that way. So I want to show you some rattles that I have. And they all have different sounds and different energies. Now, when shamans work with shamanic tools of any kind, they come into relationship with that tool. So they develop a special relationship to that tool. So every rattle that I work with, I have a special relationship to it, whether I received it as a gift, whether I made it myself and crafted that with my own hands and energy, or if I did go to a store and buy one because I do have those rattles too. And just because you buy a rattle in a store does not mean it's not sacred, okay? Uh, everything is sacred in shamanism, okay? All right, so I want to show this one that I have first. This one is made of seagrass. So we have seagrass here woven together. Uh, we have also here and inside are shells. So this one I actually got from my travels in Hawaii and it has a really beautiful, delicate sound. And uh, the energy, every rattle has a different purpose, a different healing purpose. This rattle has such a sweet energy to it. It has that sweet energy from the ocean. I love water. I love oceans. I love rivers. I love creeks. I love lakes. I love rain, uh, waterfalls. So when I work with this for healing, it has a very soothing energy. So if a client is coming to me and they have a lot of anxiety, or they're fearful, they have phobias and things like this, I would work with this rattle for soothing those emotions. And the spirit of this rattle, when shamans work with uh, these tools, they work with the spirit of the tool. So the spirit of the rattle, the seagrass, the shells, the water element is very soothing. That water element energy, that flavor of that energy washes through the person I'm doing healing for to wash away those emotions as well. So not only breaking up the emotional congestion with the sound of the water, 
but the essence of the water element being in this rattle washes away their pain, washes away their emotional pain, cleanses that from them. Okay, so I could be rattling around them or even myself to release those emotions or rattling around the heart to release that emotional congestion, grief or sadness or heartache. So I would work with this rattle for that. Also, I have this rattle. This is another one of my shamanic rattles. This one is from Africa. I uh, traveled to Africa and uh, did a lesson, some private lessons with a medicine man there. Beautiful, beautiful man. He was amazing. And he worked a lot with plant medicines. And while I was there, uh, this rattle came to me. So it's interesting because we have animals. I have to turn it this way so you can see it. So we have animals carved into it. This is a gourd. So we've got an elephant here. We've got our rhinoceros here. This is a gourd. We also have wood here. So we've got the spirit of the gourd, the spirit of the wood, and inside is corn. So we have the spirit of the corn uh, to do healing work. Now, it's interesting because this rattle is upside down. The animals are upside down when I hold it this way. And I thought, that's really weird. Like, why, why is that? But then I realized that this rattle, what it helps me to do is to see what's hidden, to see what is the flip side of a situation. So for instance, if someone comes to me for a healing session and they're giving me a list of symptoms, uh, I have stomach aches, headaches, I have knee pain, this rattle, when I'm rattling with this rattle and it puts me into the shamanic state of consciousness, the altered state of consciousness, and I connect to my helping spirits, they help me to see what's underneath, what's hidden, what is the flip side of that stomach pain, what is actually the source of illness there, what is happening. So this rattle helps me to see that. So. <laughs> instead of seeing things for what they are it's like what's behind it what's hidden what do i need to see what's the flip side of that so it helps me in divination practices i have this other rattle here oh let me play this one for you so you can hear it it's a very different sound to the uh, seagrass one so that's the sound of the corn it's a bit of a sharper sound um, the seagrass one, very gentle. Those shell sounds are gentle. This one is sharper. It helps me to penetrate through to see what I need to see. It's like, uh, cutting, it's like cutting through the BS, if I can say it that way. Cuts through that to help me see what I need to see. Okay. All right. Uh, the other rattle I have is this one here. This is a beautiful hummingbird rattle. So we have hummingbirds here. We have flowers. So it's got beautiful flower energy, hummingbird energy. This one's made of wood and inside are different seeds. And that's the sound of this rattle. So that's the sound that the seeds make. And uh, different seeds from different plants, flowers and things like this, which is quite fitting since we have the flowers. What I work with this rattle for, if a client comes to me for a shamanic healing session and they tell me that they're stuck in their life, like nothing is working out. I'm trying to get a job and I can't. Uh, I'm trying to grow my finances, but I can't get ahead financially. I'm trying to manifest a love relationship and I'm having trouble doing that. This rattle, the spirit of this rattle and the uh, seeds inside this rattle help the client to plant the seeds in their life of what they want to manifest, what they want to grow so that it can grow to thrive so that they can plant seeds for money. So being able to grow their money, planting seeds for relationship to grow and nurture their relationships so that things grow in their life and not only grow, but prosper and thrive. So this helps people to get out of that stuckness. Okay, as I rattle, it helps to release those stagnant patterns, that stuckness, belief systems that might be getting in the way, limiting health, wellness, success, and happiness, and then planting the seeds for what? The person wants to manifest or grow in their life okay so there's that also uh i have this rattle here so this is an egg rattle it's actually made of an egg so this is um an egg that i decorated in the traditional ukrainian style egg my ethnic background is ukrainian i also practice slavic folk healing slavic shamanism so i created this egg painted it 
and uh, blew out the egg yolk after it was painted so it didn't have the yolk anymore, let it dry out. And then inside this egg, I put the wheat kernels in. And my family, I come from a family of farmers growing wheat, so this uh, beautiful rattle is in honoring my ancestors and my lineage. And this is also a really great rattle that has a gentle sound. Now it's fragile. I make these all the time. Eventually they do break. Uh, sometimes when these rattles take on a lot of energy or do a lot of healing work and when someone has a breakthrough, so a client coming to me for a session, if this breaks in the session, it's because that client has had an amazing healing breakthrough. Boom, the rattle will break to symbolize that. So it's okay, we don't shed tears when the rattle breaks, even though a lot of hard work went into making it. We just honor that, we collect the pieces and we honor that. So let me uh, rattle this one for you. It's very gentle sound. Okay, and I work with this rattle again to plant seeds but help the client to plant seeds for what they want to grow and manifest in their life, but also for ancestral healing, because this is a connection to my ancestors. So if someone is wanting to embrace the gifts, skills, talents, and abilities they've inherited from their ancestors, but they're not expressing that fully in their life to their true potential, I will work with this rattle to connect them to the skills, talents, and abilities they have inherited from their beautiful ancestors so that they can fully express that in everything that they do, work, relationships, so that they have good success in their life. I also work with this rattle to release any negative patterns they've inherited from their family or their ancestors. So that can be patterns of addiction. That could also be patterns of legacy illnesses, like a history of digestion disorders or a history of cancer, okay? Or unhealthy patterns of losing money, can't keep money, okay? Or can't keep a job. We release those negative ancestral patterns and restore balance. So I work with this rattle for that. And one last rattle I'll show you. I also made myself. And it's this one here, okay? Uh, this one is made from the hide of an elk. And then this is a piece of wood that I found in the forest. And inside, this rattle is black and white, and inside are different white and black gemstones here. And I also have a crystal here, a clear quartz crystal here, black and white beads. We have feathers. So the feathers here, this one is a uh, Canada goose. I live in Canada, so I wanted to honor the goose. Here we go. This one is a pigeon. And this skinny one here is crow. So it has pigeon medicine, uh, pigeon medicine here, the Canada goose medicine, crow medicine, and the clear quartz and the stones inside as well as the elk medicine now the wooden handle here i got this from the forest when i went uh, for a walk in the forest the tree was struck by lightning this was one of the branches on the ground so it has the healing energy of lightning in it okay so this rattle i work more with shamanic ceremonies rather than healing sessions when we need that flash of light to bring in light in times of darkness this is why this rattle is black and white the black represents dark times challenges when there's uh things going on that are not so good to release that and restore us to the light and that is representing by the white in this rattle white beads the clear quartz crystal the white leather here the white stones inside to return us to that light energy our lightness helping us to reclaim our lightness so i work with this and the lightning helps to just break through stuck patterns as well to clear that so that new life can grow it's just like when you know a tree is hit by lightning sometimes a tree dies sometimes we need to lay to rest unhealthy patterns to let that die in our life so that we can be born again to be born new to create ourselves anew and embrace something that is new that is part of our growth and evolution in our lifetimes so this rattle i work with for that um this rattle has a very uh, strong sound <laughs> the more strong sound out of all of the rattles that i showed you so i will uh, play this one here
So it has the strongest sound out of all the rattles. It's uh, very penetrating, very powerful. So this is why it's reserved for uh, shamanic ceremonial work. All right, so I hope you have enjoyed this video about rattles. Thank you so much for watching. If you would like to experience a shamanic healing session, I do those sessions online through Zoom, as well as teach shamanic classes. You can go to my website, shamanicspirit.ca, to book a session with me or to check out my class listings. Thank you so much for watching. Lots of light and love and blessings to you, and may you enjoy this beautiful day.